There are times when you need to update your address list, perhaps adjust the criteria or the conditions that determine which recipients populate that address list. However, just making those changes does not automatically update or apply the address list across your exchange organization. So for example, you recall in a previous lesson we created an address list called our address list and the conditions were that it was populated by team leaders. So if we take a look at this again, here we see team leader. Now if we preview, user2 is a team leader, so user2 goes into the address list. However, we're going to make a change. We're going to change this from team leader, and we're going to change that to team admin, and say OK. Now when we preview this, you notice it changes to John Exchange. User2 is no longer part of this address list. If we say OK and we click Next, we could apply the address list immediately. However, at this time we're going to click Do Not Apply and we'll click Next and we'll finish out editing that address list. Now when we go back to our user and we click New and we click To, if we find that address list, you notice that they still are under the perception that user2 should be in that address list because the address list has not been applied. So what we're going to do here is show you how to manually apply that address list. If we click the Exchange Management shell, here we have the address list selected and down here we have the option Apply. Instead of waiting for it to be scheduled to be applied, we can just click this option here and you see again it gives us the option immediately or at the following time. We'll leave it as immediately, we'll click Next. And now when we go back, now we see that the address list has been updated. So we hope you found that informative and we'll see you in the next lesson.